Okay, guys, you can see my PC ran into the problem. If your PC ran into the problem and it says it needs to be restarted. So something like the error code, uh, some stop code, so on mountable boot volume. If you guys are getting the error like this in your PC and if it says it needs to be restarted, you're going to follow the number of steps in this tutorial. One the other steps will definitely help you. In case if it do not help, you're going to follow some other uh, tutorials. Yeah, it might help you with uh, some new solutions. So I have come up with the, some of the steps to fix this issue. I hope it helps. In case if it helps, you can share this video with your friends and family. Troubleshoot. In the troubleshoot, again you have advanced option. Inside advanced option, again you need to come back to the command prompt and then you're going to choose command prompt and click on it. So guys, you have to type all the commands correctly without any spelling mistake. Okay guys, I hope command is visible or you can watch it in a full screen. So you can see, even I've left the command in the pinned post, it's a comment section down below. B-O-O-T-R-E-C dot E-X-E slash rebuild B-C-D. And guys, you're going to press enter key. So this might take some time. Finally, once you're done, you're going to type the second command. Okay guys, this is the second command you need to type. Boot rec dot exe space slash fix mbr. Click on enter. Okay, now the third command and the last command that you need to type. bootrec.exe slash fix boot fix boot press enter key some kinds of access denied so sometime you get the message like this so type all these commands correctly and maybe in your case access is not denied in my case, it's access denied. Two commands work successfully. Third command, access denied. So anyway, you're going to type all these three commands correctly. And then finally, you just have to exit it. Exit the command prompt. Turn off your PC. And then start your PC again. Or just directly, you're going to restart your computer. Okay, guys, you're going to type the command. SFC space slash scan now it needs to be together and press enter again. So it will take some time, uh, let it to complete 100% and you are all done. Okay guys, you can sit down with the 100%. Now just exit it. Okay, let me exit it and press enter again. Finally, we we'll just uh, give a restart to your PC and check if uh, it fixes your issue. Okay, guys, you're gonna run this command uh, without any spelling mistake. So you can even run this command from a advanced mode. Currently, you can see it is in a administrator command prompt. So you can run this command even from X drive in advanced mode if you cannot turn on your PC. Access the command prompt from advanced mode and then you can run this command. Press enter key. You can see so everything is okay. And here it is. The boot code was successfully updated on all targeted volume. Okay guys, this is another command you're gonna run. You can run this command also from uh, advanced mode if you cannot turn on your PC. Press enter key. So guys, you got, I got uh, error 87. So some, spe uh, some spelling mistakes, there's no, uh, okay. Some spelling mistake. So in case of uh, restore, I have a scan health and everything is okay. I just put the space in between and then I'm gonna press uh, enter key. Now you can see it's working. So you're going to use this command instead of first one. First one really do not work. 
So it's just gonna take some time and it will be done. So you can run this command uh, from uh, advanced mode also. If you cannot log in into your PC, so if you have a loop problem, you can run it from advanced mode, it's X drive. Just give some time and it will be done. So if you do not proceed ahead, just uh, hit enter key and it will start working. So you can see uh, it's down with it 39-41%. So you can see 100% the operation completed successfully. Now you're going to exit it. And then I have to give a one restart to your computer. And then I have to check if the issue is fixed. You're going to choose command prompt and click on that. You're going to choose the user account. So you might be having a multiple number of user in your computer. So you're going to choose the user. Make sure you have a administrator privilege to the user. Enter the password if you have password for your account and click on continue. And now here you have a command prompt. Okay guys, I hope command is visible. It will locate the bad sector and recover some of the files that is readable. So guys, you just have to press enter key after you type it correctly. Now you can see it is going on, everything is in process. Just keep some time. Doing this might take a pretty long time. So you just keep some time. Finally, once you're done, you're gonna press exit. So if it asks you for the, any kinds of permission in your computer, like yes or no, you're gonna type Y for yes, and then press enter key. So finally, it's all done. You're gonna exit it. And now restart your computer. When I click on troubleshoot, I have uh, six different options over here. I'll click on a startup repair in the very beginning. So the PC will check for all the necessary repairs it can attempt. See, a startup repair could not repair your PC. Either I can sort down or advanced option. Troubleshoot. In the troubleshoot, again you have an advanced option. Inside advanced option, again you need to come back to the command prompt and then you're going to choose command prompt and click on it. By default, you're going to see when you open the command prompt, it will be like x colon slash windows slash system32. Now, you're going to choose the drive. Let's say I'm just going to type F colon and enter key. Now I'm inside F drive. Why I'm inside F drive? Because I have my all the program files, Windows system 32 files in my F drive. I have all the files in my F drive. My operating system is installed in F drive. Let's say you have installed the operating system in C drive. So press C colon and enter key. So if you have your operating system installed in a D drive, just press D colon and enter key. So my operating system is in F drive, so I press F colon and enter key, I am in inside F drive. If you are confused, if you do not know what you have your operating system installed, you can randomly type C and enter key and you can just type DIR and enter key. It will show you the full list of files inside that drive. If you have a Windows file, program files in that drive, that means that is the correct drive you have chosen. 
if you guys are confused with the drive where you have installed the operating system you're gonna do that so let me show you how currently my operating system is in F drive so I'm inside F drive let's say I'm confused whether have I selected a correct drive or maybe my operating system is in different drive so I press so I just gonna type DIR correctly DIR and enter key all right guys you can see here I have a Windows program files some recovery files user Windows Windows 10 upgrade that means all right guys let me show you okay guys here so you can see when I'm I'm here inside F drive when I type DIR and enter key I have a Windows I have a program files recovery users and Windows 10 Windows 10 upgrade that means I have selected a correct drive so the drive which got all these kinds of files like program files program files x86 Windows Windows 10 upgrade maybe some of the files less or more but these files are very important program files program files x86 Windows 10 uh, Windows user if you have all this directory in your drive that means you are inside correct drive all right guys let me proceed to the next step so once you have selected your drive correctly where you have installed your operating system the next step is you're gonna type CD space okay guys I hope the command is visible so you're gonna type CD space slash windows slash system 32 slash config all the commands you need to type correctly press enter key and now you are inside F drive windows system 32 config so the next step MD backup we are making a directory named backup BSCKUP press enter key copy so this is the next step next command asterisk dot asterisk backup so if you are given some different name you can see it's a backup directory so we are copying the files to the backup directory copy asterisk star asterisk to the backup press enter key now you can see all the 11 file copied to the backup directory so you can see successfully 11 file copied so the next step cd space r e g b a c k it's a reg back cd space r e g b a c k press enter key now you can see we are inside config now we are inside reg back right over here you are going to type d i r and press enter key okay guys when you do that you'll see all the value over here is zero zero default zero is zero sam zero security zero software zero system so if the default value is sam 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 security software if all the values is zero so you are just gonna exit your command prompt right over here do not proceed just go with the next step or the next fix so this solution will only work if there are different value uh, some three digit six digit or eight digit nine digit value over here instead of zero if there are six digit nine digit or three digit some numeric value over here instead of zero then only proceed forward to the next step otherwise exit the command prompt and then go forward to the next step to fix the problem so let's say if you do not have a zero like this and you have a some different value some numeric value six digit eight digit nine digit or some numeric value like this over here instead of zero then only you type these commands
So what you're gonna type guys, it's copy star dot star space dot dot and then press enter key. Now it can ask you to for the permission. It can ask you for the permission whether you want to overwrite default value. So click on so S no or all. So you're gonna type S and then press enter key. Again, you're gonna type S and press enter key. So you're gonna overwrite all the value. So instead of going on one by one, if you like, you can go one by one or you can just type all. So it will overwrite all the value. So you can see five file copied. Now you're gonna exit it and check it out. So exit the command prompt and check it out. Just uh, turn off your computer or and start it again or restart your PC and the problem should be fixed. You're just gonna choose, it's a troubleshoot. And here you are, uh, reset this PC. Let's click on that. Keep my files or remove everything. Okay guys, this will restart your PC and after restarting, this is what you get. Your account, one you use to log in your PC. So if it is password protected, you have to enter the password and click on continue. If it is not password protected, just directly click on continue. Now, once you click on continue, this is what you get. Resetting this PC, getting the things ready. So give us some time and it will get all the things ready. Okay guys, now here it is. Once it's, once uh, it gets ready, click on reset. You know, this might take several minutes and we are all done. Your PC will be all the way ready to use. So finally, here is your PC all the way ready to use.